We are here at Expo West day, day two. two. It's rainy outside, uh, so everyone's soaking wet. So you'll see my hair get bigger and bigger throughout the film. Yeah, and I already feel like I've been like hit by a bus just because we were going non-stop for the past few days, but um, really excited to see what we find here today. We're in the hot products section, which is in an entirely new building that wasn't even here last year. Um, and all of yesterday we made it through one floor. So now we're gonna speed through another floor and then go to the main expo building and we'll show you the best we find a vegan. Hope you enjoy it. Follow Your Heart had a new line of vegan yogurts and their peach yogurt was really delicious. Um, they also had this amazing garlic aioli. Oh my God, get it if you see it in stores. They were serving up these organic rocket cakes, which are their pancake mix that you can just squirt out. And here's the new vegan egg already in liquid form. They have a huge line of products now and continue to grow and it's very exciting from Follow Your Heart. Then there's Rule Breaker, which is an awesome company. They have these single serving vegan and gluten free blondies. They're chewy and super sweet and delicious. Next up is Good Catch Foods, which was one of the most exciting things at Expo, a new vegan company that makes vegan fish products. And they had this tuna, they have sliders, burgers, they were serving it up in sushi format. Like tuna sushi was so yummy. So far, I just got it, but I have the Good Catch, uh, like tuna, yes, salad, or whatever, it's like tuna, like in a pouch, like tuna, and uh, they have little crab cakes, mind blown, mind blown, right? These are like tater tots made from millet and they're actually quite delicious. And then this was the best thing ever. It was mac and cheese strudel from Harbor Creek Farms. Oh my God. Vegan Rob's is a long loved company. They have tons of chips and stuff. Good Karma had these vegan yogurts. Sue's Organics makes my favorite dipping sauce. It's called Nutritional Feast, yum. I love this chocolate bar. Bobo's Oat Bars came out with a healthier and vegan friendly version of Pop-Tarts called Toaster Pastries. Kite Hill has vegan yogurts. They even have a Greek vegan yogurt. Um, I love their yogurts. They're so yummy. They even make these kid-friendly squeeze packs, single serving. It's so cool. And of course, my friends at Field Roast are awesome. They came out this year with these brand new dressings. They have the Ranch, Thousand Island, and Caesar. Then of course, Miyoko's, one of my favorite companies on the planet because they make the best vegan fancy cheeses, but they also now make vegan butter, mozzarella, that's great on pizzas, um, cream cheeses, this was a new line, and look, they have a no lox cream cheese and a scallion cream cheese, oh, so good. They have totally new packaging for a lot of their things, like their butter, and just awesome. BioLife is getting lots of distribution in the US, which is exciting. They're one of my favorite vegan cheese companies. A lot more casual cheeses. They even had this blue cheese, which was really cool. Elmhurst is a fun milk company. They used to be a dairy company, and they switched to all plant-based milks, and they have each type of nut highlighted. This was a really awesome vegan and more sustainable soup broth option. It's made of a rice paper bag. In one bag makes you know the big bag. This bag makes you 28 cups of broth. This is equal to seven of the 32 ounce cartons that you guys. Oh, that's awesome. This was, oh my god, unreal. Best nut butter ever. 
vegan ranch from primal kitchen they're coming out with more vegan options michelle's raw foods makes these amazing dressings but also really yummy dips that are totally dairy free like this cheese sauce yum this is a company i had never heard of before but they make vegan puddings which is so cool they're called nature green and then the Jackfruit Company got a total makeover, a total brand rejuvenation. Their packaging is so much more beautiful and modern now, and their products are awesome. They had frozen jackfruit, which was actually really good and sweet. And then of course they had jackfruit that you can cook up into a meaty texture. Just so, so cool. Jackfruit is taking over the world. Cheese is a company that has been around for quite a while, but they also got kind of a rebranding. Um, they have this brand called Vegan Island, which is available in Australia and some other countries, not yet in the United States, but they had some pretty cool flavors, really yummy. This company had vegan gelatin free gummy bears, which is pretty cool. Then Subi Soups, I love them. They are a very vegan loud and proud company and their soups are amazing they're like a freeze-dried soup cube that you just add hot water and it turns into amazing vegan soup here we've got more vegan ice cream hooray and this is another maple company that has maple butter which is my latest obsession so good this is their chocolate hazelnut maple butter, which is vegan, and these guys are really nice. <laughs> the Art of Broth is another one of my faves. They're tea bags that are all vegan, and they're broth, so even the savory chicken flavor and the beef are vegan, which is really cool. And they also were so, so nice. Then the Honest Stand, I've talked about them before in videos. They make like a vegan nacho dips and various cheese dips. Here, Christy is trying one and she gave it a big thumbs up. She's gonna try and help get them into schools, which would be super rad. And yeah, they have a lot of products to try. Everything but the plant-based baking mixes from Cherryville Farms are awesome. They have these single serving cake in a minute packets now, which are super rad. The Little Colonel makes popcorn that's totally vegan, even the cheesy flavor, which is exciting, and I just love how they very clearly label it with the little vegan symbol. This was pistachio milk, which I just thought was cool. I didn't even get to try it, but it looked very neat. They had all of these different innovative nut milk products. Then Cocomel's, one of my long-loved companies, they have these Cocomel Bites. This is a new flavor. I haven't tried the new flavor, but I love the original. The OG Cocomel's and Cocomel Bites are so, so yummy. Yum Earth has a lot of vegan candies. This is one of my faves of theirs. They're not all vegan, but some of their products are, so just read labels. This was a company that makes vegan pho, complete with a vegetarian pho broth, which is really rad. I love soup, I love this broth, and I'm stoked they exist. We found these almond matcha lattes being cooked up at Matcha Bar, which was fun. They were sadly out of the almond milk when we got there, but I love that they teamed up with Califia to get vegan almond milk in their, in their matcha lattes. <laughs> Here's Sorbabes, they were really cute. They are a totally vegan brand. They make like sorbet that includes um, creamy vegan nut butters. So they're really decadent and so, so good. I really loved it. This company, Nature's Charm, makes sauces, like vegan caramel sauces, uh, butterscotch sauces, and so much more. They had this pretty rad fountain going. Oh my God, doesn't that look amazing? <laughs> Here's some vegan food colorings and sprinkles. It's just great to see more natural options coming out on that front. So this company is one to look out for. Tori and Howard is an all vegan candy company. All of their products are gelatin free, are made without animals, and they came out with these new sour fruit chewies and they're so yummy. This Mochi, you guys, this is one of my favorite companies at Expo. Sadly, they're not widely available yet, but the best vegan mochi, the best mochi ice cream period ever, ever, ever. All right, you guys, Tony and I are finally leaving the last day of Expo. We left a little bit early, but it's just chaos in there, man. The companies are like trying to empty out everything they brought with them and are like giving away cases of everything. We are like loaded up. I'm gonna do a giveaway in this video. I'm not sure what it'll be for, but details will 
come henceforth. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining on this Natural Products Expo West adventure. Many of the products featured won't be out just yet, but will be coming uh, later this year. A lot of companies are saying summer or a few months away in major real retail retailers, mostly. Okay, anything else, Tony? <laughs> nope. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Bye.